Welcome back to Element A Day in May. Hey, thank you for continuing to watch. And if you are just joining me today, you can catch up on the rest of the playlist on Everyday Science. We started with Historical Figures Week at the beginning of the month and continued with a special alchemy week on the classical elements. And now this week is a week of lesser known elements. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the not often discussed element, osmium. Osmium was discovered all the way back in 1803 and named for the Greek word meaning smell, since the man who discovered it found it to be pungent when treating it with acid and alkali treatments. Although if you've ever been in a laboratory, a ton of chemical reactions give off strong odors. So this one must have been extremely strong. And that has been confirmed since its discovery and further investigated. Even osmium powder, just sitting out at room temperature, can give off such a strong odor that it can damage your eyes and skin and definitely don't breathe it in. Speaking of investigation though, osmium is used in detecting fingerprints since it reacts with grease left by your fingers. And side note, in my research for this episode, I came across this amazing global series called 94 Elements. It's this comprehensive project involving filmmakers all over the world telling narrative stories through filmmaking, but each related to a chemical element. And I highly recommend checking that out. They have one on osmium. It's all about fingerprints, more or less, but just go check it out if you have a chance because it's this really visceral way to explore the elements. And it combines science and storytelling and film, so I just wanted to share that with you. In general, osmium, it's not a particularly popular element because it's just not used for very much. It is the densest element though. In fact, one gallon of osmium weighs 190 pounds. That's the average weight of a grown man. To, to compare it though, a gallon of water weighs 8.3 pounds. Can you imagine going to pick up a gallon of something and, and finding it's the same weight as a grown man, 190 pounds? It's pretty incredible. Also, as an alloy or a combination of metals, it is used in instrument pivots or screws and electrical contacts and circuits, needles on phonographs. Remember those? <laughs> Me neither. And probably my favorite use, fountain pen tips. You know, the really fancy kind that you maybe use a few times ever in your life at somebody's dad's business or something like that. I don't know, they have this fun charm that combines high tech and low tech all at the same time. And I like it. Well, that's today's element, osmium. Tomorrow, we're getting out of the transition metals and talking about yet another element you may not have heard of, dysprosium. Element a day.